Our Canadian member for Vancouver, Point Grey. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, through you to the minister, two of my constituents, uh, Kirsten and Jens uh, Loker, have uh, written to my office uh, with a proposal that they have for a Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Day. Uh, the Lokers have had a very sad uh, experience with uh, uh, losing uh, an, an infant, and they wish to turn that sorrow and grief into some positive action, both from a public health perspective, educating people about uh, ways in which they can minimize the risk of miscarriage and sudden infant death, but also as a compassionate outreach to parents that have been in this scenario. They proposed the day of October 15, 2014, I've written to the minister uh, with their correspondence, uh, and I'm hopeful that the minister on the record today will confirm uh, that he's willing to look at, uh, at uh, having the government officially declare um, October 15th Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Day so that the, the locals can uh, move forward in their efforts to educate the public about this very serious and important issue. Minister. Thank you, Honourable Chair, and uh, certainly uh, our hearts uh, go out to any family that uh, that suffers uh, through such a loss, and uh, we are always willing to work with uh, people that are um, uh, helping uh, educate uh, and make people aware of uh, of the uh, the concerns, the dangers, and 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 steps that we all can take to uh, to prevent uh, such loss. So we'll be happy to uh, work with with uh, the members' constituents and and go through the process uh, of evaluating and and in in. The vast majority of cases, these types of proclamations are approved and and uh, and do help to spread awareness. So we'd be happy to look at this particular one. 